Okay, so here we have a truss and which is supported at point F and E. In each of the in each of the points we have two reactions, X and Y. Uh, and we need to find three uh, trust members. AI, HG, and CG when 50 kilonewton is applied at point A. So, it's a 2D, it's a 2D uh, structure and we know that in 2D structure we can write three equations of equilibrium. Some of the forces in Y, X, and some of the moments. But we have four reactions. So, and this is a typical case where we don't need to find uh, the reactions because we need to find specific members. In this case, usually, we uh, will try to make any uh, sections to find these uh, members. So, uh, let's see what we have here. So, we can see that, that all the reactions are on the right side of the structure. The applied load is acting on the left side, and we need to find here two trust members. So it's easy to say that we need to cut, uh, to make a section here along these two members and also along the C, this kind of section. This section, when we're doing this section, we can look on the left part of the structure on, or on the right part of the structure. Of course here, all the unknowns are here, that, therefore, we will look on the left side of the structure. Because of the section, we have now three forces, one, two, and three, and we need to find two of them. So, the way to find, let's say, CG, is to, if we're looking on this structure, we have in Y direction only CG and 50 kilonewton. So some of the forces in Y will give us CG with pointing up. This is four meter, and this is also four meter, so it's 45 degrees. So it's N CG over square root of two times, in this case, sine 45 equals to 50 kilonewton means that NCG is 50 square root of 2 or 70.7 kilonewton. Great, so we have NCG. Now we want to find HG. We don't know what is CD, so let's take the sum of the moment at point C. During the sum of the moment at point C, we'll have 50 times the R8, and HG will give us a moment with the arm of 4. So, sum of the moment at point C, 50 kilonewton times 8 meters, moment out, and this one will give us inside minus this value, or just, let's take it to the other side, and HG times 4. Therefore, NHG will be equal to 50 times 2. Okay, so we found three, uh, two forces of our three forces that we need to find. So the last one is AI. AI is same as CG. What should we do? One more section. If you're doing this section, you'll see that we have here also four by four. So this is also 45 degrees, same as CG, 
if we will do some of the forces, if we will look on the left side, some of the forces in y direction, we will find that the force at ai equals to 50 times square root of 2. So, n. Okay, let's write it. So this was section 1, 2, 1, 1. This is section 2, 2. From section 2, 2, sum of the forces in y direction will give us that n a i equals to 70.7 kilonewton. So, we finish the question. This is a very good example where we don't need to calculate the reactions uh, and if we need to find only specific members, usually we will try to use the method of sections. To make a section along the unknown uh, forces that we will need to find. That's all. Good luck. <laughs>